We saw so much emotion from you throughout this game. Can you talk about a little bit of, of what you were feeling and, and what led to those uh, that this really big defensive game for you? Uh, it's like your little brother start talking trash to you. Um, so you start talking trash back, to be honest. So um, DK and Diggs said something. So kind of said, you know. What did they say? We'll keep it in the house. It's all good. Two, two interception, two sacks, a really big interception. Um, can you talk a little bit about just the extra amount of passion that it seems like you play with today? Um, honestly, I just felt like, you know, we had a lot of guys out. Um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, playmakers out. AD and uh, Matt and Coop and Ashawn and, you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, I wanted to try to provide a spark uh, for the team and, and uh, you know, help us find a win. Feel a little bit short. How are you feeling right now? I mean, it's frustrating. It's unfortunate. Um, obviously, you want to get a win. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. What was kind of going on, on on that last drive, Bobby, where they were able to move the ball down the field and you guys weren't able to hold them to three? They, they obviously they scored the winning touchdown. You know, they just made some plays, man. You know, they uh, drew up some good plays. Uh, Gino found his receivers, found his targets, and, you know, you got to get high sauce to them. Did you talk to any, I know you said before the game you didn't know what was going to happen. Did you talk to any former teammates or coaches before the game? Yeah, they came up and said, what's up? You know, said they respect, obviously, uh, you know, uh, it's bigger than uh, football at the end of the day. So, um, you know, a lot of people came up and, and said, what's up? And, um, you know, I show love, but, you know, I locked back in. And then after the game, it looked like kind of one by one, they came over to, uh, again, pay respect. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, during the game, we compete. And after the game, regardless of um, the outcome, um, you know, they still, they still my brothers over there. So, uh, you know, everybody came and said, what's up? And, you know, I showed respect. Bob, Were your all emotions? Week you about, all week you talked about you tried to play every game, even keel, but having spent a decade over there, was there a point early on where, where it felt different playing against Seattle? No, I'm a master at um, a master at controlling my emotions. I know how to control my emotions very well, so I control them during the week and let them out during the game. And how difficult is it knowing not just to lose this game, but where this team is right now, being so close again? Uh, it's difficult, obviously. Um, you know, I'm a winner and I want to win, so. Um, it didn't happen, so it's never really a good feeling when you don't win. What were the emotions after the game? Um, obviously, frustration. You know, it was a game that you could have won, a game that you should have won, and, you know, you allowed a good team to uh, make plays, and, you know, they did. So, Can you talk about your comfort level as each week goes by? I mean, repetition, as I've always been told, is such an important thing for any athlete. Right. Uh, could you repeat that one more time? Sorry. The, the repetition, how your comfort level as you are a starting quarterback, each game more and more. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's my, it's my, I think my fourth start, but really it counted as my third because I played like a, a series in Seattle uh, a few years back. But, you know, these, uh, these reps are invaluable. Uh, playing live games is different, and, uh, you know, I just got to keep uh, using these repetitions to, to grow as a player so we can get some wins. And are like you, you more comfortable in, in this role as each game comes up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think just getting more reps with the ones and going out there and playing. Looks like you guys got a, a spark from Tutu Atwell and from Brandon Pell, and they also seem to have some of their assignments expanded a little bit. Yeah. Um, can you kind of take us through that and what they lent in terms of that yeah, change of pace? Yeah, I think Tutu was rolling today. Um, made some great plays, um, really showing you know his talent, and uh, he's got a great demeanor about him. He's kept working. Um, so happy to see him do that. And then BP is just a... a consistent competitor. He's, he's given everything he has every play, and he was able to make some plays in the run game and, and catch some screens, so he did a good job, too. Have you seen Tutu's confidence grow? Just a couple more. I think so, yeah. Uh, 100%. Um, he's running good routes. He's uh, being physical at the top at the 20-yard out cut we hit him. It was a great route, and he's moving. So. When you haven't played a whole number of games in your career, how do you make up for a little the lack of experience and just you know be able to turn the page on Thursday? Yeah, yeah. I think... Um, that's a challenge, right? You know, it's uh, you know, 
I think Kenny Pickett's got more starts than I do, so it's, you know, it's, <laughs> um, it's part of the game. But, you know, I've been around longer than he has, and, you know, I, I had to take advantage of the reps that I've gotten in practice from the scout team and uh, just continue to grow as a player. Following up on that, what's the biggest lesson that you can learn out there now that you're getting more reps, especially when you get in the red zone scenarios? Yeah, um, we got to convert those into points. Um, obviously, too many field goals uh, down there. Uh, we thought we drove the ball well, and then we got to cap those off with touchdowns. So. Uh, just go back, watch the tape, and then improve on those things. Emotionally, this team made it very clear, um, even if Bobby, you know, kind of controlled his emotions heading into the game, this team made it really clear how passionate they were about doing this for him and trying to fight for him. Mm -hmm. How did you feel in that? And then, um, you know, the reaction to not being able to, to get it done in the end? Yeah, uh, Bobby is an amazing leader. Um, the pro's pro, works so hard, and uh, really wanted to get it done for him. So a ton of respect for him just uh, in, in the weeks that I've seen him and how he prepares and how he works. Um, and then just uh, upset that we were able to get that for him. You made the big plays that counted today in terms of scoring. The team obviously fell a little bit short. How does that feel? Uh, obviously not the, the the outcome we wanted, but we made some strides today uh, offensively and, decent, and defensively. So uh, we just want to want to build on that, uh, learn from the mistakes that we had and build on them. The good that we got. I promise too. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank Season you. high uh, carries for you. Yeah. Were you aware of that? I mean, you want you wanted them all. Of course, yeah. of course. I wasn't aware of that until now, until just now. But um, hey, uh, it is what it is. I did the most. I made made the most happen with the carries that I got. You know. Cam, what did you feel like was allowing you to be as effective as as you were today? Uh, the movement that we had up front. You know. Uh, those guys moved those guys all all night, you know, um, whether it was downhill runs, uh, whether it was toss plays, whether it was, whether, you know, a perimeter run. So uh, those guys, it start with them. You know, without those guys doing what they're supposed to do, then nobody is successful. So, uh, my bad. So, um, start with those guys. And uh, I think uh, just a, a commitment to the run game as well. Commitment to the run game. I know you guys didn't get the outcome that you wanted, but do you believe in what areas do you think that you guys improved more so in this one? Definitely. The run game, for sure. We improved in the run game. Uh, we just want to build build on it. You know, um, Obviously, it wasn't perfect. You still have mistakes and, and stuff you want to build on. So uh, take that and learn from it. What was it like seeing Bobby Wagner with the game? That he had? I couldn't hear you. What was it like seeing Bobby Wagner on defense with the game that he had? Oh, man. He did what he was on, um, but he always do. You know, he's the leader of that defense, one of them. Um, he came on. Uh, he, he stepped up when the he stepped up when the plays needed to be made. Uh, he was that guy to make those plays. So uh, that's what Bobby do. That's not like surprising to any of us. Uh, that's what we expect. So you know, just being him. When you think back to where you were in the middle of the season when you were away from the team, and now you have this game like this, you score two touchdowns and you yeah. have the 17 carries. What goes through your mind when you kind of reflect on what the season has been like for you? <laughs> a lot. Uh, a lot that I'd rather not say. Uh, just, you know, I learn from it. Uh, it's all a learning experience. Uh, I'm, taking it, I'm treating it as such. you feel like you're proving something to yourself this season? Nah. Uh, I, <laughs> I know what I can do. You know, um, I know what I'm capable of. I know who I am, you know, um, so... That's not going to change regardless of if my success isn't where I want it to be for that moment. You know, that's not going to change.